Welcome to MSU Today, the program that brings you the inside stories of our researchers, our students, and our alums. I'm Ron Collins. For students who have a strong desire to be trial practice attorneys and want to learn what it takes to win in the courtroom, the Jeffrey Figer Trial Practice Institute offers a unique way to blend education and theory all in a courtroom setting. Could you please tell the jury what Sissy Spaulding did prior to being your primary accountant? Uh, she was a bartender, wasn't she? Yes, she was. All law students take the typical courses, torts, criminal law, civil procedure. Uh, most don't have any real world experience or preparation for real world activities. It was thought that having a program of this nature would be beneficial. One of the things that appealed to me about Michigan State University College of Law was that there was this opportunity to participate in this, in this trial practice institute that would give me the practical experiences and really allow me to, to go through what an attorney does while in law school. The only thing you can do to train at all is during law school become a clerk and if you're lucky enough to get some experience you'll know what you're doing a little bit when you get out. And the idea that uh, an institute could be set up within the law school to focus on that particular area of specialty um, I think is exciting from my perspective. The Jeffrey Figer Trial Practice Institute at MSU's College of Law is the first of its kind in the United States. It provides students with a comprehensive set of programs that mimic a real-world trial experience. Only 32 students are selected for the program based on their potential for successful trial advocacy. They have no proof. A unique curriculum, including classes in forensic science and even so theater, are essential in preparing students for the courtroom environment. There's some psychology mixed in, there's um, theater, drama mixed in, and that is more public speaking. People have to learn how to think on their feet. That's going to help them with their presentation. That's going to help them look at a screen and emphasize certain points, not only in calling it out, but in their voice inflection, in their uh, hand movement. We learned how to control our breathing, how to move about the courtroom, how to move differently depending on what the message was that we wanted to convey. That's obviously not an awareness I would have gained outside of this program. The Institute's faculty consist of practicing attorneys and judges who not only bring years of practical experience to the classroom, but critical feedback for the students as well. Two things I want to talk to you about, okay? The first is language choice. Routinely use words like binding commitment. These people have incredible experiences, but they're, they're very down to earth and very easy to, to learn from. They're going to make decisions during the cases and, and that affect the way you argue. And afterwards, they're going to give you feedback, and they're going to tell you, this is what I saw was effective. This is the way it would work in my courtroom. This is the way I've seen it work in other courtrooms. And so that's crucial towards becoming a good attorney. It's a really comfortable environment in which to make mistakes. I always say I learn way more than the students do. Every time I come, I learn something from the students. The intense two-year program focuses on pre-trial courses in its first year and trial courses within its second year. For today's law student, one important component is understanding the impact of technology when conducting a trial. Seventy percent of all information that we get in this country today is through a screen of some sort, where 20 years ago, 90 percent of the information that we got was basically through print media, newspapers, books, periodicals. Completely changed, we've completely changed and adapted. In the Trial Practice Institute, we are actually taught how to use one of the uh, leading software programs and taking a piece of evidence, a document, if you will, a contract, putting it up on the screen and highlighting specific areas of the contract for jurors to see. So now they're hearing witnesses and, and lawyers talk about what's in the contract, but they're also actually seeing it. The first day I walked in and said that I knew how to use Trial Director and I'm suddenly a great resource. It makes you very valuable uh, when you can use technology the way that we're being instructed. So instead of bringing 500 banker's boxes into a courtroom today, you bring a laptop and maybe 20 CDs. Truly, all trial work is, is the art of storytelling, taking a canvas of what your story is and being able to communicate it in an effective way. Juries connect with attorneys, and you want to do everything that you can to make sure that your jury is going to connect with you. The students in the program feel that the certification in trial practice combined with availability of actual courtroom experience has set them apart from their peers. They say, you know, practice makes, makes perfect. By no means am I perfect, but I'm, I'm working towards that, and I mean, I've got one leg up, I think, and a lot of other people that haven't, haven't had that experience. 
I'm hoping that I've made a lot of mistakes in the program that I get ironed out now so that when I'm actually practicing, I'm a little more polished than, than my opponent. I can only hope that this trial institute instills the values that I believe in and that they live after me. It, it gives them that jump start and gives them an opportunity to be teachers in their own right immediately upon becoming members of the bar. I've had the experience of taking a real case and working it through from beginning to end, and that's thanks to the Trial Practice Institute. For more information about the Jeffrey Figer Trial Practice Institute, visit www.law.msu.edu.